Pluto, planets and the astronaut. Hello, my friends. It's me, Pluto. Today, I'm going to teach you about the planets. Hello, Pluto. I am the astronaut. Are you a planet? That's quite a story. Let's first visit the solar system, shall we? Meet Mercury, the smallest planet and closest to the sun. Mercury is very hot and dry during the day and very cold at night. Astronaut here again, and has a question to raise. Do we have vegetation on Mercury? Mercury's thin atmosphere also called exosphere, is composed mostly of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium but due to solar radiation, and extreme temperatures it is tough to breathe there, and thus life cannot survive there. Do you know the secret that Mercury is named after the flying messenger of the Roman gods? All the planets rotates on its own axis like a dancer on one foot. Rotation causes day and night. While revolution around the sun takes longer and causes seasons and year. Mercury rotates slowly on its axis and the days are longer as compared to that on Earth. You can say Mercury's speed in space is 29 miles, 47 kilometers, per second. The closer a planet is to the Sun, the faster it travels and that's the reason why Mercury is the fastest planet of all. Also as Mercury has the shortest distance to travel around the Sun, thus has the shortest year having just 88 days as compared to that on Earth. Despite of Mercury's proximity to the Sun, it's not the hottest planet in the solar system and this title belongs to someone else in the system. Mercury's surface is rocky, and that's why it's also known as a terrestrial planet. Mercury has no moons and no rings. Let's feel the real distance and size of Mercury as compared to Sun and Earth. Next is Venus, named for the Roman goddess of love and is closest to Earth. Venus is often called as Earth's twin because they are similar in size and density. These are not identical twins, since there are radical differences between the two planets. Venus has a thick, toxic atmosphere filled with carbon dioxide and thick, yellowish clouds, smell like rotten eggs, of sulfuric acid that trap heat causing a greenhouse effect. And that's the reason it's the hottest planet in our solar system, even though Mercury is closer to the Sun. Venus has crushing air pressure at its surface, more than 90 times that of Earth. Venus rotates on its axis backwards and that's the reason on Venus, the Sun rises in the west and sets in the east, opposite to what we experience on Earth. But Venus is not the only odd one out. You will discover one more planet doing the same as you focus on this video. Venus rotates very slowly on its axis. One day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days. The planet orbits the Sun faster than Earth, however, one year on Venus takes only about 225 Earth days, making a Venusian day longer than its year. To make this fact simpler by the time Venus completes is one revolution round the Sun, it has not completed the self-rotation on its own axis. Venus has a solid surface covered in dome-like volcanoes, rifts, and mountains and ridged plateaus. Venus has no moons and no rings. Another similarity between Venus and Earth is, both are volcanic grown. Let's try to feel Venus in reality.
Planet number 3 is our very own the Mother Earth and is at a distance of about 93 million miles, 150 million kilometers, from the Sun. Earth is the only place we know so far that's inhabited by living things. Earth means, the ground. A day on Earth is 24 hours. Earth makes a complete orbit around the Sun, a year in Earth time, in about 365 days. Let's feel the Earth's rotation on its axis. Earth is a rocky planet with a solid and dynamic surface of mountains, canyons, plains and more, 70% of its surface is water. Earth's atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen and 1% other ingredients that makes it easy to breathe. Earth has one moon and has no rings. Earth is the only planet in the solar system whose English name does not come from Greek or Roman mythology. Earth is the perfect place for life as we know it. The atmosphere protects us from incoming meteoroids, most of which break up in the atmosphere before they can strike the surface. Let's try to feel the entire world. Mars, the fourth planet, also fondly called, Red Planet, because iron minerals in the Martian soil oxidize, or rust, causing the soil and atmosphere to look red. It has two moons, Deimos and Phobos. One day on Mars takes a little longer than 24 hours. Martian year is 687 Earth days. Mars has two moons, Deimos and Phobos but has got no rings. They're potato-shaped because they have too little mass for gravity to make them spherical. Mars is a rocky planet. Its solid surface has been altered by volcanoes, impacts, winds, and chemical reactions. Mars has a thin atmosphere made up mostly of carbon dioxide, CO2, argon, AR, nitrogen, N2, and a small amount of oxygen and water vapor. Till now, Mars' surface cannot support life as we know it. Let's feel the Mars in real. Mars is home to the largest volcano in the solar system. Let's try to feel the Mars' surface. If I am not wrong then we are now aware of all the rocky planet? That's correct. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are not just neighbors by the nearest star. Dot, but also compact balls of rocks and metals and are refereed to as rocky or terrestrial planets. Where are we off to next, Pluto? To the bigger planets, we go. The one with rings and another with a big spot? That's correct, my little astronaut. Before that make sure that we watch out for the rocky objects floating around. 
They're ancient debris when the planets are forming. These are called asteroids, comets, and meteors. These chunks of rock, ice, and metal are leftovers from the formation of our solar system 4.6 billion years ago. You can say them as fossil record of our early solar system. There are millions of it. Can you feel millions of them? Let's try to feel the rocky close up. Meet Jupiter, fifth in line from the Sun. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter's stripes and swirls are because of the cold, windy clouds of ammonia and water, floating in an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. There is a great red spot on the Jupiter's surface because of storms. A Jovian day is 10 hours and Jovian year is 12 Earth years. Jupiter's atmosphere is made up mostly of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter has around 80 to 95 moons not all completely discovered and studied well. Jupiter has faint ring system. Jupiter cannot support life but some of Jupiter's moons have oceans beneath their crusts that might support life. Let's feel the Jupiter. planet from the Sun and the second largest planet in our solar system. Saturn is unique among the planets because of the beautiful rings made of chunks of ice and rocks. Saturn is a massive ball made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Saturn takes about 10.7 hours to rotate on its axis once in 29 Earth years to orbit the Sun. The exact figures are still not known. Saturn has seven rings all bright and icy. And that's what makes Saturn the prettiest of all planets. And has around 82 moons, more to be discovered. Saturn cannot support life as we know it, but some of Saturn's moons have conditions that might support life. Let's feel the beautiful Saturn. Nice to meet you both. Hey, is it getting very cold? Oh, yes because we're now near the coldest planet out here. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun, and has the third largest diameter in our solar system. It was the first planet found with the aid of a telescope and is named under the Greek god of the sky. Uranus Day measures about 17 hours and Uranus Year about 84 Earth years. Uranus is an ice rocky giant, dense fluid of icy materials, water, methane, and ammonia. Uranus' atmosphere mostly holds hydrogen molecules and helium atoms, with a small amount of methane. Uranus has 27 known moons, and they are named after characters from the works of William Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. Uranus has 13 known rings. The inner rings are narrow and dark and the outer rings are brightly colored. Uranus, are you okay? Why are you moving sideways? Uranus cannot support life, but Uranus is unique in that it rotates on its side. Let's try to feel the Uranus's movement. Approaching an 
another star? But hey, here's our final planet. Here is Neptune. Dark, cold, supersonic winds, ice giant Neptune is the eighth and most distant planet in our solar system. A Neptunian day measures about 16 hours and a Neptunian year is 165 Earth years. Neptune is an ice giant. Most of its mass is a hot, dense fluid of icy materials, water, methane and ammonia. Above a small rocky core and thus we can say that the Neptune's atmosphere is made up mostly of molecular hydrogen, atomic helium and methane. Neptune has 14 known moons which are named after sea gods in Greek mythology. Neptune has at least five main rings and four more ring arcs, which are clumps of dust and debris. Neptune cannot support life. Let's feel Neptune. The astronaut is back again to remind that he is waiting for the answer he asked in the beginning. What about Pluto? Pluto is a dwarf planet, a donut-shaped region of icy bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune. Pluto looks like an inert ball of ice that has been thrown out the window. A year on Pluto is 248 Earth years. A day on Pluto lasts 153 hours, or about 6 Earth days. Pluto has a thin atmosphere of nitrogen, methane and carbon monoxide. The atmosphere has a blue tint and distinct layers of haze. Pluto has five moons but no rings. Pluto is so beautiful as if the solar system saved the best for last as it has a heart-shaped feature on its surface. Let's feel the lovely Pluto. But what about the brightest star of the solar system? The Eye of the Lord? You are right, it's altogether a very big topic and we will discuss in detail separately. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and subscribe and we spread the word to all.